Greetings! Today I've got uh, a couple of those uh, thermostat uh, temperature trip uh, temperature fuses, uh, many names those things have uh, but um, basically what those are are uh, those are little sensors or, or trip fuses if you like that you would uh, place those on a uh, on an area that's uh, sensitive to uh, high temperature and uh, when the pre preset temperature for for one of those uh, reaches the threshold level it will basically trip it will uh, disconnect uh, break the circuit so those are normally connected and once they uh, reach uh, uh, the switch temperature um, it will uh, disconnect and break the circuit and switch off your power or whatever that might be so it's a safety fuse um, now I've got two different types over here this one um, once it trips uh, it will reconnect the circuit um, after uh, after it cools down um, this one here won't uh, this one actually require even if after it cools down it requires uh, to push on the on the back pin uh, for it to be reset, so it's manually uh, resettable. This one resets automatically. Um, now, what I what I want to do uh, today is actually take them apart and see um, what's inside, how are they constructed, and uh, what's inside one of those. Um, I think there's going to be some uh, the bimetallic strip somehow, but yeah, I, I just I'm just curious and want to see. Uh, Mainly because it's uh, it's not not an electronic uh, type of a sensor. There is no electronics. It's a mechanical switch. So the the temperature actually f uh, affects uh, mechanical properties uh, of something inside, and um, that basically it's a moving part that disconnects the the, the circuit. So. Um, yeah, uh, before we actually before I actually rip them apart, let me show you how they work. So, if I put the meter on ohms, I don't want to put it on the buzzer because the buzzer sound is quite annoying. But you can see um, it's uh, point uh, point one on over ohm. I'll just lock the range over here so it will be easier. And um, yeah, so one one and a half ohms. Uh, Mind you, the cables are a little bit, a little bit funny, but uh, okay, about an ohm. So it, this is connected right now, and I'm going to use a torch to apply some heat to it, and it will take a moment, and you will probably hear a click. There you go. Did you hear that? And no. And now clicked uh, clicked back in, and by applying some heat, yeah, it's uh, tripped again. And came back. Um, so that's that's one of them. Um, this one is uh, a little bit different, so. go there you go that's got disconnected and the pin on the back actually pushed out and even though it's cooling down um, it's this will not reset and I have to physically push the pin in, it's a little bit warm still, uh, to get it back in. Let me get it under the camera so we can see the pin uh, actually uh, disconnect. There you go. Maybe one more time. Ah, still hot. So one more time. Yeah and well, doesn't want to stay it's still too hot so it won't reset uh, when it's uh, when it's still hot obviously but uh, once it cools down it will it will stay um, so 
yeah that's um, that's how they work so now what I want to do is uh, take them apart and see um, how how are they uh, actually constructed inside so this is just going to be a brute force operation it's it boils down basically to taking the uh, aluminium off of the ceramic casing okay that's one done uh, let's get the other one open and then we'll compare what's uh, what's inside Okay, there we go. Those are taken apart, and by the way, the the small or the the black one, the one that requires a reset, had a marking on it 90 pm1, and um, I looked for that online, but uh, it brings up a whole bunch of uh, strange results. Um, the the other one, however, uh, this actually came out of a coffee maker. Um, this one is marked KSD 301 and uh, this uh, one, a quick search on Google revealed uh, the spec sheets and, and whatnot from uh, Sunshine Quality and Service and it's a thermostat KSD 301 uh, there are different variants and models of it uh, with different uh, current ratings and different temperature settings and whatnot um, and different uh, connectors and mountings and uh, I guess for different uh, applications um, now those things um, the temperature at which they switch is uh, preset at the factory so it's inherently the way the metal that's maybe the thickness or the curve or or some some parameter of the actual metal of this disc is uh, what makes uh, makes the temperature uh, sensing or switching um, but yeah let's uh, let's take it apart and see what we've got inside so this is the the one that requires a reset okay this fell out um, so what we have here is a little disc uh, a mounting plate for the disc uh, a little tiny dowel I guess uh, a little pin and then the switch um, inside the inside the plastic uh, body and it's normally connected but if the pressure is applied uh, from from this side it uh, it gives in uh, it's it bends away but by default it's uh, it is connected in the in the little contact that maybe you can see it from here There you go. That's the switching happening over here, and not much else to it. This is just a couple of pieces of metal that have been uh, riveted in inside the body. Now this little pin rests against uh, against the plate and goes through the little hole in the in the bracket, and it rests against. Uh, this this metal disc in the front so it's basically like this it's the same same sort of thing and in terms of a plate that holds the disc and the disc itself both discs have got some sort of marking um, on the back they're not very readable But uh, yeah, I guess the, it's it's a whole sheet of metal that has been designed for certain temperature, and they just punch uh, the little circles out of it. But this one, I suspect, uh, once it snaps over, it will snap back 
So let's check. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, and that little motion, this is, it actually has quite a bit of force in it. There's quite a bit of force in it. So if I, oh, that's hot. Yeah, it's it's not easy to stop it. So when it's actuating a switch, yeah, this weighs quite a bit and it was lifting this off. So let me. Yeah, it hasn't got a problem to do it under quite a bit of weight. So, um, it's uh, yeah, the, it's quite powerful. Um, I can't read the whole thing that's uh, that has uh, has been marked on the back of the back of the plate. But yeah, that's uh, that's interesting. Now, is this uh, metallic at all? I mean, magnetic. Yes, those are magnetic. Um, so I think it's actually um, two pieces of metal uh, sandwiched together. There is one metal on one side and another on the other side, and they've got different uh, thermal characteristics. And uh, basically, when you heat it up, uh, the metal uh, on this side expands quite a bit more than this um, the one on this side which causes it uh, to uh, flip over and uh, bend in the other direction but uh, okay uh, those things are just the plastic or I think it's uh, some sort of ceramic ceramic dowel so it's just just so it withstands temperature but uh, nothing special about this and uh, yeah that's uh, that's how the thermostat sensors work so if you are wondering um, yeah uh, that's uh, that's what makes them tick a little little tiny disc inside that uh, it's made out of uh, two dissimilar metals and uh, it uh, it snaps uh, when it when it heats up too much so yeah um, I think that's it for this video uh, thanks for watching if you enjoyed it uh, give me a thumbs up or uh, subscribe for more random stuff uh, for the time being. Take care.